Hey, it's John Cheplak out here at the Titan Castle, and we just wrapped up a workout. Got up here this morning at 3 a.m. and hit the gym at 4 a.m., two-hour session. And now we're going to roll into the Mornings with Titan. Going to share some things that hopefully can support you personally and professionally. We'll see you there. We are good to go. Holy shnikes. What a good morning we've had so far. Right. Big Johnny in town, my boy. We have so much to go over. We're going to do a lot of this because I'm not going to let you skip out and just <laughs> be in Vegas and not hang out with me. Right. Um, and also, we've known each other. These guys can't even comprehend this, but we've had uh, three decades together, mm -hmm. um, which is huge because... Before all this success, you knew me. You knew me as a bouncer back in my yeah, teens. Right. Um, and, and to see where you are today, um, I'm so happy. I get it. I think you understand that when it's a friend, a true friend that you love, uh, you, um, their enjoyment is also my enjoyment. So seeing you succeed um, uh, in life, outside of business, skip business, but just how you are as a person. Uh, it enhances and I get to enjoy that and it brings me up a notch and I love having you in my circle um, but we got some training in this morning yeah we did I learned some things this morning I love that and yeah. you've been training for a long time yeah gosh back in I mean we've known each other 31 years um, probably about 32 yeah. and you know the gym downstairs there and the Vegas, gym of Seattle Johnny Moretti yeah right and you know they uh, tore down that place yeah they did and, yeah. and they tore it down and went up did they? They went okay. vertical. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we used to um, <laughs> we used to tussle back in the day. I know you guys <laughs> won't know that, but we we back when I was a teen, we get, I got in some fights and stuff. But uh, uh, always had my back, always there with me. Um, and uh, we tra we trained with Willie, um, Michael Harris, uh, John Moretti, and all these guys up in a uh, in a beautiful powerlifting bodybuilding gym, more of a powerlifting gym, mm -hmm. uh, called the Gym of Seattle below this nightclub called Oz. The Oz. Up in Seattle, Washington. Below the Space Needle. Yep. Um, so we've had a lot of journey together and stuff, but today I want to give these guys something that um, some of the fitness guys probably can't do. Mm. Uh, well, they can't do it. Uh, and I can, I can just say that. But there's, there's a difference between um, dedication and health and fitness and body, and, and there's a correlation I think with business and you are how would you describe it are you a business manager are you a, a, what is it in a sense you know coach is so overused but it's so appropriate you know yeah. business business coach and consultant but um, I think one of the things that connects with with us too is we talk about it, the head and the heart so understanding that it's not just this logical space um, and it, it's not just about business, it's about a holistic space, which is the way, you know, you live your life and, and I do mine. So it's working with people and certainly building a business, but with a business that, that has a foundation that contributes to a, a whole life versus just making money. And a lot of that has to do with, as, as you know, and we've talked about, is, is um, consistency that's, a, that's an easy term for us to talk about, but what, what are the things that need to be kept consistent? And, and I think it's emotions. So if I were to really look at, if I were to really say what's the one thing, I, I facilitate uh, the consistency of emotions of people. Wow. Okay. And it grows businesses and lives. Now there's a lot underneath that. But, uh, yeah. Right, right, but right. that's, that's, that's uh, we were with some big hitters this morning mm -hmm. um, w with the Titan crew. Some big hitters. These guys uh, do um, real estate development, and I'm talking not just the, the, the typical apartment buildings that I own, but I mean cons big locations. You spend about two hours with these guys, and at the end of the two hours, these guys are coming up to me going, I need to work with this guy. I got I to gotta, I gotta have him as my coach um, for, for this whole thing. And, and, and it's, it was great for me to see because Again, a majority of them are going to go say, well, he's a business guy and he teaches these huge multi-million billionaires how to function and do this stuff. And these guys picked it up just from how you were working out and what you were talking about there. 
can you go into your your method on 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 coaching a bit? Mm. I, I know that you can go hours on this, sure. but but your method on teaching somebody the emotion and, and keeping them more level headed and stuff. Yeah, um, a, a lot of it has to do with research that I had to do, and and I think that um, I don't think I know. To, to be able to lead at the high level that you have and continue to, uh, the most important thing you've had to do and continue to do is a massive commitment to self-development because you can't lead other people until you can really lead yourself. And we talked about it at 3.30 this morning before we went to the gym. You know, it's like, John, I don't comprehend anything different outside of this. <laughs> and people look at it it's like it's weird, but I, I don't know any different. So it's that... Um, it's the piece of, of, of understanding that the greatest um, return on investment is in your personal development. The money will come from that. The money doesn't come from a new strategy or a tactic. Uh, you, Do people focus too much on the one uh, instead of the other? 100%. The magic pill. I mean, you look at this one too. How many hours do people put into making money? In a week. And now if you, we talked about the time study this morning. There's 168, I've got to do my math again, 168 hours in a week, right? Okay. And, and people like to say to me that are, that are, you know, not similar to you or me that, that work out a lot or as much as we can. I mean, you live at the gym. Oh, I do. Really? So 1.5 hours a day for me at seven days a week, that's 10.5 hours. Let's do some math. 6% of my life I'm spending. 6%. 6% of my life. But I thought you live in the gym. Yeah, right? That was only 6%. <laughs> Get a life. You live in the gym. Wait a minute. I have a life. Look where what I'm able to do. Right. I mean, you look at our, our careers and what we're doing. Humbly, we both, not from that positive, oh, Rob, I'm going to do good, but we know and believe to our core that we are on a trajectory. We're just getting started because we've played this long game of focusing on what matters. And that's that 6%. Whereas, now show me your work week. Wow, I worked 60% or 50% of my life in my work. So we're doing something to, to um, create a healthier life that allows us to do more um, for a longer time frame. I mean, people Which is on the 6%. Down, 6%. And then everybody else is? <laughs> 60, 50, let, let's be conservative. 50, let's say 50% of their week. You know, the 50 to 60 hour cool entrepreneur. It's cool to grind. It's cool right. to 10x. And, right. and, and and listen, I mean, that's fine. But but it's, they've got it backwards. Right. It, it, I, I love that you say that because for you guys out there, uh, you can speak about this. Um, when it comes to my core values of, of nutrition and training, yeah. um, you've known me as long as, longer than anybody in the industry, I guess. It, you know, um, mm -hmm. and, and you know that I don't comprehend miss a meal. Yeah. I don't comprehend not get a workout in because of this, that, and the other thing. Um, that's just foundation work. And, and like you said, we do it so early in the morning, we don't miss any life. You know, we're training. You get up before me. <laughs> I get up at three, and I, you know, and people go, "You're crazy." You get up at two, but we're done by five thirty, and ready to start the day. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so, I think you and I agree on because you're just saying it right now. Is is the there's a difference between being busy and being productive, mm -hmm. and they know that, mm -hmm. but they keep saying the other thing. I'm, I'm I'm kicking ass. Um, why do you train early in the morning? If you got to ask me why I train early in the morning. I can't have a discussion with you because you can't, I can't explain to you or, or you cannot comprehend right. why I train so early. Right, right. The, the training isn't for them. It isn't for the others. It's about us being healthy and us getting into a battle and us enjoying our, our time and our moment and getting us ready. Mm -hmm. um, and people can't comprehend. Well, you should sleep 10 hours a day, yeah. you know. How much do you sleep? When do you sleep? When do you, I, I get enough. We get enough, yeah. and, and we live a life that we love. And I think there's a difference between, and, and I know I went off a little bit, but there's a difference between getting enough, enough sleep and recovery to keep growing and healthy relative, um, and I think we get some good sleep mm -hmm. because we love our lives. 
relative to the guy that gets the eight hours of sleep, but then works out to impress others and then goes to a job that he hates. I'm thinking one guy is more stressful than the other. I, I know you wake up well, well, at two excited for the day. A hundred percent. And I think the thing that you've, and we've chatted about this all morning is boundaries and what you boundaries. know. What do you, you mean by you, boundaries? You, well, it's, it's, you say no in a lot of places where other people say yes. So there's boundaries and, and, and you living by the principle of everywhere I say yes, that means I have to say no. Right. And everywhere I say no, it gives me an opportunity to say yes. And so you're crystal clear in, in what those things are. I mean, that's, that's the interesting part. If, if people just stepped back and said, I'm going to say no here, it opens up a whole new world to them. But it's the... It's kind of like so many people are worried about impressing people. Social media's done that one. Social media's done a lot in the last. Oh, it's. I Facebook mean, came around in what was what year was that? I don't, I don't even know? remember. Yeah. Was that after ninety seven or so? Was Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Um, but but I think here's the thing that's that's interesting though. Play with me on this one because I watch people get. They work so they have to work so hard right. because they haven't done the foundational work. It's kind of like you. There's there's two things that are happening. There's there's a, a mental and a physical part to it. When you go out and you speak or or you guest pose, it is you just it's like automatic. It's unconscious because you've done the work at four a.m. You've done the found how you perform that night or that day at whatever moment it is has nothing to do with that moment. You already saw it because you did you saw it because you visualize and I know that about you, but what you've done is you've done the work. You don't have this thing going in the back of your mind. I mean I think a lot of people have to work really hard because they haven't done the preparation. They haven't stayed really focused. There's some places I didn't say no, and so I'm not gonna show up as my best version of me. The simplicity of your consistency at 4 a.m., the simplicity of how you, the simplicity of who gets to be in your life and who doesn't, and then the complexity. That's a huge part. Everything, everything, That's because true. there's mirror neurons. Right. Mirror neurons, people say, you know, we, we hear this, you know, you're like the five people you hang out with. Well, let's go physiological to it. Okay, we have mirror neurons inside of us, and those neurons, they mirror who we are around. And you see it all the time. Hang around someone long enough that is not congruent with where you want to be. You, you know, a couple things are going to happen. You're going to get at a choice point, say no, so you can say yes to, to where you were, where you want to go. Or you say yes and no problem, unconsciously, through the way we're programmed, our mirror neurons will will um, replicate and that's who we become. And so that's taking the, you know, you are who you become. Well, let me take you to the science and that's the science. Um, I think one other piece that's critical that you get though too in the physical part of it is it takes energy to work out. Everything takes energy, okay? But part of this boundaries thing, and again, it's we're very similar in this, is the brain takes more energy than any part of our body and so what we're, what's not happening with, with you and with me because of boundaries is we are not getting, I mean, it, it's 10 times the energy extracted from us when you've got someone that's negative or someone that taxes you or even just all the stimulus that's out there. So boundaries, you know, being not so sexy, chasing everything that's so fancy, um, A, gives you... You simplify it. You, you oh. simplify it, but but, but then oh. but then look what's happened to you. You've become an icon in the fitness industry. See, I want to be Mike, sexy, great, and okay. I'm gonna work out good, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my meal plan. No, 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 no. That's that is probably that much of it, and that's the principle people have to get. The principle is the choices that you've made in in um, who I am, what I do, what I stand for, people, places, things. Because if you, if you miss on one of those three silos, the people you hang out with, you're not sitting here with this, what you've created that now transfers value to millions of people. And, and that's, that's what's beautiful is because 
it's not just you transferring inspiration to them, but it's passing it along. You know, I, I mean, there's nothing you'd love better than to see someone step up and be, you know what, be better than me. I hope you are. Impact more people than me. I hope you are. Get more covers than me. Because that's why we do what we do. I, I, I started a, a statement, I think it was about 15 years ago. I said, don't be me, be better than me. Yeah, all right. And I started that way back uh, before social media. And uh, it, the reason why I say that is because I would rather be around people that are better than me instead of me being the best there is. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be around a guy that's stronger than me when I've trained together or looks better than me um, or a guy that's brighter than me. I, I spoke about this the other day and I said, <laughs> I've done things in real estate um, you know, uh, where, where you guys would go, oh, no, 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 that's not <laughs> the way to do it. And I did it at a time because of the fact that, that I'm not a bill guy. I don't like bills. I just like to buy and cover. All right. and, 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 and all you big guys that are, are killing it, I say, no, that's not the way to do it. You basically do it this way, this way, this way, and then suddenly the bank is paying for it and government and all that in a sense of write-offs and so sure. on. And I go, well, let, let me get my foundation work done about this so I'm mentally mm -hmm. at peace. And you came back with something that actually made me happy because mm -hmm. I got rid of what would be considered stressful things you. to where now I can keep building. And so right. when it comes to foundation work with lifting, it, it, it is I come in and I hit the principle of it, then I go do the secondary work. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that you've always talked about and, and you simplify things and you go, well, it's great that you're doing this, this, and this. And, and you've discovered, and, and so does like Bedros and these guys, they talk about these guys that are influencers that have millions of followers and they're broke <laughs> because it seems as though uh, which is unfortunate and I'm glad that I grew sure. up the time I did because of the fact that uh, they believe it's a TV show in a sense and they got to put on this portrayal of who they are now I'm too old to do that and when social media <laughs> came out I was too old to change it's the my first character time. it's know? the first time I gotta I gotta watch <laughs> make sure this is on there on recording this is the first time Mike O'Hearn says I'm too old to do something <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old to act like something right, I'm not. Right, right, You know, and um, I am who I am. I, I, mm. I, I started training at four in the morning back back in the day. Yeah. And, and it's never changed. And I just love that foundation work. And I train for me. And, and, and the side effect of it is, okay, maybe I win the universe and I win the California powerlifting and all this stuff. But the main root of it is for me and my sanity and my, my health and my beliefs. And it seems like today, how can you straighten out the guys that are doing this for the followers, or sure. doing this for the money? Because I always say that, and you just said it, money will come if you do this. What can you teach these guys? Well, there's a principle that, that Mike has just, and I want to speak to everyone here, that Mike has just shared. It's intrinsic versus extrinsic. So it's intrinsic motivation, okay? When you are doing something for someone or something outside of you, then you are a hostage to everything outside of you. You're a ho it's like you'll hear people say, you know, I need haters, I love haters. Well, what happens when a hater goes away? Haters motivate me. I mean, because what you're doing is you're putting this mantra out there versus, um, and, and I'm not saying that there, there are people, we all get motivated in different ways, but that's still extrinsic. And that's not something within you. And that's why people go in sine waves and aren't consistent. So something I say to people is when they do a show, a competition, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and this is one of the things that I did from the very start is that I chose my path. And I chose my path to be different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Because I, I don't know if it's I'm Irish or stubborn or whatever, <laughs> but it's one of those things where it's like, if you all say this can't be done or, or this yeah. is not the right route, I want to see what I can do over here. Mm. I'd like to try to test this. And it seemed to work for me. And I said, wow, nobody's on this path. I can create my own path in health and fitness that's never been done before, and it could be just me by myself. That turned me on. And it didn't turn me on anymore to prove them wrong. It just turned me on that I get to do something uh, for myself and for my last name and, and for my, everything that's been there is, is to create something so new. Um, which was amazing. And when I tell people, when you do a show, mm -hmm. go into the show the way you want to look, because they always come up, what do I need to work on? Yeah. What do the judges want to see me do? How do, should I change my body? How should I, and my response to them is, do the show how you want to look. You place first, congratulations. You place 15th, 
you should still be happy. You're trying to appease nine judges, and this happens 10 out of 10 times. Mm -hmm. I say do photo shoots before, do photo shoots after, do, do your prep, because the contest is a checkpoint, it's not a finish line, mm -hmm. you're just checking point, and then you keep going up. And they'll always do the show, and they place, you know, I don't know, second, fifth, 15th, and then I asked, well, did you do your shoots after? Did you do this and that? And they, no, no, I went out and ate and I was pissed off and I, I did terrible <laughs> and I should have won the show and I did this and that. And I go, wait a minute. So nine people just told you you weren't good, even though I thought you looked great. And most of the time the people do look great. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do any other aspect to this and they just destroyed them. And I never, I never comprehended with them because when I did shows, I did shows how I wanted to. And I was very polite to the judges when they'd come up and go, Dude, you look incredible. You won the show. Mr. Universe, congratulations. If you put on 25 pounds of muscle or 30 pounds of muscle, you know what you could do? And I would smile and go, thank you so much for your advice. And I would walk away going, I ain't going to do that. No. I don't want to do that. No. Mm -mm. What is it? Why, why, why do they, again, what is the root? How can they change? How can they change trying to get satisfied? getting satisfied or, or pleasure from getting the followers or getting the likes or mm -hmm. getting um, the win? How can they still succeed or at least keep fighting mm -hmm. to get better and not get so sucked into the number game? Well, the first thing is, and it comes back to, and our good buddy Johnny Moretti, 30 years now, um, when I told you, he says, I ran into O'Hearn about 15 years ago. What's he up to? Said, you, you guys don't know, John Moretti <laughs> is who gave us a job at this club, and then he opened this fitness center, and uh, when I was a teenager powerlifting, um, he started flying me to the Nationals and Masters, because uh, I didn't have money as a, as a teenager, it, enough money to fly to, to Nationals to compete against Bull Stewart <laughs> and these guys, and... and uh, so he sponsored uh, me. So that's who we're talking about now. So, yeah. so go on. So you ran into him about 15 years ago. Yeah, and, and he said something that I want you all to hold on to um, because it's I've shared it on stage with with people that are in, um, you know, a large part of my audience is people that are in marketing. So in marketing, it's, you know, how does it look? What's the perception? This and that. And, and I said, what do you have to say? What's he up to? He says, you know what? I'm just getting paid to be me. Just getting paid to be me. What? He goes, I'm just waking up every day getting paid to be me. And so I want to I wanna do two things. Is I, I can tell you this. It's, it's the world is spending so much money on branding and, and, and marketing and behavior to uh, generate more money. Yet what you did is you found, or I mean, you should identify right away. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is what I stand for. It's that... It, you can call it cliche, but it was congruent with who you were, how you're, you know, you look at your, the, the, the discipline and support and, and as you shared how, how your father brought you up and taught you that self-discovery was the number one way to learn, not by him giving you the answers. Okay, because you just, you just opened up a whole new thing that I wanted to go into, which yeah. I love. I have the Titan Mentor Group. Yeah. Now, the Titan Mentor Group is something that uh, I speak to people every week on Tuesday. On Titan Tuesday, I talk to all the members. Now, if you have my app, my workout app, mm -hmm. that shows me how you're working out and what you're doing. Um, and so this Facebook group that's private is something I started for free. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to talk to these people because an app, you can only get so far. But if I'm there too and I talk to these people and I said, you know what, I'll give them the extra time with me with them. And what I found is that the majority of them are similar in the sense. And so just so he, he made a point about my dad. My dad was a school teacher. Yeah. And so I'd ask my dad for questions. And I grew up with dyslexia. And most of the kids in my family grew up with dyslexia. Mm -hmm. So I had a hard time learning. Um, and so was, a lot of the time I just instantly, I want the answer. So I'd say, hey, dad, what's the answer to this? What is this, this, this? And my dad was great and sarcastic, and he'd be going, can't tell you. If I tell you that, you'll know as much as me. you got to figure it out for yourself. And at the time, I hated it. And you said something on the drive to the gym today. See if you remember this. You said something about sometimes coaching or sometimes helping somebody oh, doesn't sure. look like yeah. helping. Support sometimes doesn't look and feel like support. Say it again. Support sometimes doesn't look and feel like support. 
And and what I would say I to you that. is is that um, you know the, the 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 number one way that you are and that we have been able to because I've had those pain. It's a painful moment, and so if you have pain in the experience inside the mentor group, congratulations, you're going to grow. I love that. Because if someone's challenging you, you don't want an answer giver. Because what you do, you know, we're talking to both sides from a from an avatar, from a customer, from a and and you know, call it fans, call it you want. But if you've invested, number one, stay invested because there's nothing more important. But what you don't just want a six pack. You don't just want what 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 Mike's focused on and what you're about is something that endures. And, and the one thing is that if, if you're given the answers, you're going to live your life dependent. And, and, and you know what dependency is going to do for you? Nothing. Thank you. Absolutely nothing. And so it's actually, here's the other thing that can be dangerous that people go, I'm independent. Well, listen, um, I don't know how healthy that is. People brag about that because if you look underneath it, well, interdependence is where it is. And when you look at interdependence and their relationship with you, they're getting the knowledge. But here's the thing, you can't make anyone ripped, shredded, buffed, whatever. All you can do and have committed to, and it's, it, number one, it's who you wanna be, but then it's number two, so that you're walking the top, is all you can do is facilitate the best condition for someone to choose to be productive or not. And being an answer giver is a helper. Facilitating and challenging someone to go out and find the answer is it creates solution that endures because the retention of what that person discovered, just like you talked about your father did, is lifetime. I love that. Because in the Titan Mentor Group, I had a couple people start complaining. Uh, uh -huh. Why did I join this thing? Well, <laughs> it's free, so don't let's, let's <laughs> right. stop barking there, puppy. Amnesia. Um, <laughs> so the second thing is, I, I told the one gentleman that asked for um, nutrition and stuff like that, and I said, okay, make sure to go watch the videos I've done because it's been a year now with this with this thing. I said, there's a lot of videos here. I need you to study, do your homework, uh, come back, and let's talk again and tell me what you're doing. Uh, and he's like, well, what the? You know, just tell me what I'm supposed to eat. And I think it's Emerson that said, um, tell somebody something, they'll forget. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do it with them, and they may retain it. Um, make them do it, they'll learn it. Mm -hmm. And so my, my principle, and that's what my dad taught me, and I hated yeah. it as a kid, but I'm yeah. so thankful that he taught me that, is I got to do this. Mm -hmm. I got to go watch it. I got to go read it. I got to do it myself, even though I can ask the question. Um, I got to do it myself. That way, I can learn and understand it, and it's it's my whole principle. And I tell these guys in the Titan Mentor Group that I am teaching them the best way I can, so they learn it and they can go teach people. Because I do, I'm not going to be here forever. And I and I said this. I said, listen, as my my career continues to grow, and and it's you know not every Tuesday I can check in now because movies and this kind of and travel. And I said, at one point this will not be here anymore. Then what happens? You're all my titans. You will be able to know this and go out and teach the rest of the world how to do power bodybuilding. That's right. And that's the goal. That's the goal. And I felt bad getting mad at these, these, these couple members. <laughs> it doesn't here feel say, good, Give but me we know what it's want. right. But I know it's that right. they'll learn yeah. in time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. L l you know, the highest form of love we can show a human being is accountability. Well, how, how is that accountability? Well, because accountability is based in truth. And this comes back to, I think it's parallel but different, is that everyone wants the truth, but then you give them the truth and that you're yeah, a jerk. Yeah. And, 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 and so, You mean the truth? Like, yeah, like what's yeah, the trick? Yeah. How do you get in shape? <laughs> Consistency. No, 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 no. Yeah. What's the trick? Yeah, and it comes back to, too, it's, it's the, the magic pill thing of where you go back where, you know, just give me the shortcut and, and then this other part that, there's a race to the bottom, and the race to the bottom is approval from other people. Because if you come back to and you look at 
the folks that have, I mean, there's tons of people with 10 more followers than me, and I know where their business is or is not, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let me say something right now, because I, I know that you said something, and I, I'm going to repeat this, I have to, because there's some guys on, on social media that don't have huge followings, mm -hmm. and I know their bank accounts, and I know they're killing it in life financially, <laughs> but also they got a, such a a great demeanor to them and balance to them, mm -hmm. where the, 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 the life and the family is good, where the business is good, where uh, they're not really, they can make the small numbers uh, in social media do what you need to do to succeed in life relative to these guys that have multi-millions there that are failing and can't pay rent in their apartment. And I'm like, an apartment? You should be able to, so what is it? I know we can't get really too into deep right now on this, but we're gonna Got do it. this again where we're gonna do a split screen and, and, and we'll try to talk to um, one of the biggest things you, you, you taught me in Todd Abrams, Icon Meals. When, when you spoke, uh, he brought you and a couple other people down, mm -hmm. but when you spoke, I was like, man, I'm sitting there doing two things. I'm sitting there watching going, this is my boy. This is my <laughs> boy for 30 years. And you killed that room, and you gave such knowledge. And Heath Evans was over there sweating, taking notes. And I'm like, I'm with you, but I'm too... And first of all, if I spell something, I probably can't read it later. But uh, uh, it was like, there was so much knowledge you were mm -hmm. spitting. I know. Mm -hmm. I think you only had a half an hour to an hour to talk. And I'm like, ah, we need eight hours with this boy. Uh, you, you gave so much information, and, and we're going to do this, and I'll get him back out here. Um, to do a split screen to, to show me about like Facebook ads and, and mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff that really take you up to another launch, another level. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that, uh, again, I get up at 2.30 in the morning to talk to you because I know how valuable, valuable my time is with you. Uh, and that's how much it means to me. And I asked, I asked my fans, I said, would you get up at 2.30 if it's the person that's valuable to you? And, and, and both in life and, and everything. Yeah. And, and a majority of them said yes. But then that goes to the point of training or eating correctly. But my point with you is what can you tell them about some social media on how to mm -hmm. enhance their business and, and what not to worry about and what to yeah. start to implement?